Hello, everybody. Welcome to We Like Dota. This is We Like Dota, the Internet's casual Dota 2 podcast. I'm Brian Sabone Yinger. And today we are taking another look at Ben uh, playing the Heroes and Items of the Week poorly. Um, let's see, where is he? There he is. Uh, so yeah, if you listen to the podcast, you, you already know <coughs> that the Hero of the Week is Dragonite and the Item of the Week is Hand of Midas. So the rules are Ben's going to be rushing those. Uh, I believe he's allowed to buy boots. But then after that, he has to start rushing a Hand of Midas. So as long as there's no early aggression, I think he'll be okay. And oh boy, right off the bat here, we have a Sven Axe and Omni Knight Death Squad looking in the jungle for any anybody who might get caught out. And this is a very popular technique with Axe, is to uh, just kind of cut the lane up in this region. And look, look at this huge Axe, how is he even holding it? And I don't think Ben even knows these guys are here. So this is a, this could be a potential bad situation for, for Ben, and he immediately heads to the tower, assuming the worst. <coughs> and uh, yeah, so Axe, Axe and Sven are gonna go ahead and start chopping down this this lane here. And I think the reason for doing this is so that this creep wave uh, pushes. So it's kind of a way of doing damage to the tower right from the get go without having to uh, you know to stand directly in front of the tower hitting on it. You know, it's a quick way to. Deny some creeps to somebody else's lane, and this isn't turning out well for them at all. They, it looks like it was uh, doing a decent amount of damage to Axe there, but Ben is... Ben already went down. He was first blood uh, on, the, on the dire side, so that's a 2 for 0 exchange in favor of the Radiant, and uh, yeah, it looked like it was going to go their way for a moment there with the... Uh, who was it who died with Ben? It was the... Wraith King, yeah, I, it looked like they had a decent, decent bit of damage on the Wraith King, but yeah, they were able to turn it around there with the Omni Knight uh, heal slash damage, damage thing there. So, good job, Ben. You're already off to a good start. So happy to see that. Um, already looking like it's probably not going to be a good hand of minus game because the Radiant are being quite, uh, quite offensive <coughs> or quite aggressive. There's also a Lycan. Lycan thrives on, on aggression. Or at least uh, pushing strategies. You know, times when a, when a hand of Midas isn't necessarily ideal. So starting items for Ben. Let's take a look at Ben again. We're going to try and focus on him. Stout Shield, which is a, a good pickup, I think. But having a Wraith King as a laning partner. Not, uh, not an ideal situation. But he does have two GG branches. Big fan of the GG branches, so I believe this is the Dragon Knight Immortal set. Is that correct? No, I was wrong. He does have the uh, Elder Dragon Immortal item, and then he has this other this other set. But he does get the Dragon Tail off on Axe, and Wraith King is going to come in. He doesn't have enough for a stun, uh, so they are just going to back off. And yeah, this Axe and Omni Knight are able to be pretty aggressive. <coughs> Especially with Sven here, we do have the triple melee lane, so I think what needs to happen is you need to have... Maybe not Bristleback. You need to have Skywrath Mage rotating up here. Um, you need to really be doing some 4-on-3 fighting, I think, to push back this aggression instead of just feeding more kills. Um, or even just, you know, if you can survive, which clearly that hasn't been the case yet. Um, Hang out by the tower, see if you can survive. If you can, let your Skywrath Mage, you know, get levels, because he's level 3 right now. And what is what level is the Axe? The Axe is level 3 and the Sven's level 2. Well, yeah, Omni-9 Axe are going to be higher leveled because they already got kills. <coughs> but if they could have not given up those kills early, I think having your solo lanes rotate over would be good. A nice 4-man stun from Sven and that omni Knight. uh, what is that thing called, even? And it looks like Ben went down yet again. No, no, he's still here. I'm sorry. Okay. What's that called? That is the uh, purification. That thing did a lot of damage. How much damage is that doing right now? 180 damage. And a uh, 180 heal. 
So when you only have a, a 587 hit points, that's pretty good. So I think we're just gonna go ahead and put it on Ben Hero Chase. Oh, there we go. Uh, so yeah, that's um, that's not a good situation when you're playing as uh, as Dragon Knight. That Omni Knight is just ripping them all a new butthole. So I think he got a four man purification off thanks to that nice Sven stun. Sven stun. That's hard to say. Sven stun. And Ben already going for the gloves of haste. I guess I guess he's not going to go for boots first. I don't think uh, between the two of us our communication is quite quite on point yet. Let's see. Maybe I go. Do I go player perspective? See what he's doing. No, that's not that's not good for viewing. Hurt your eyes. Okay. <clears throat> so we do have another. More of this uh, three-man aggression. Sneaking around, trying to cut off the lane here yet again. And this tower is already down to about half health, so this is... Yeah, I, I, I'm I, not sure if I would know how to, uh, how to act correctly in this situation. It doesn't help that there's no ranged heroes either. It's, it's all melee except for the Skywrath Mage, so... Well, I guess they're in the same situation, too. They've only got the OD, so... Stop picking so many cores, folks. Grab some supports here and there. So yeah, Ben's rushing the Hand of Midas. Um, which, actually, as Jared talked about, might not be a horrible idea going for the quote-unquote recovery Midas in this position. Um, yeah, this doesn't seem like it's a game that'll even last long enough for the Hand of Midas to uh, to really matter, even. And Lycan's getting kills on top of that in his lane, so he's winning his lane while they're horribly losing... Lycan's winning his lane while uh, the other side's horribly losing their top lane, which is Ben's side. And Ben's taking a little bit of right-click damage from Axe. And they go ahead and intercept this creep wave again. And this, this tower is going to go down real quick. So they need to be getting like Wraith King or someone else who can easily tank a creep wave far forward. But the problem is, is that Axe really tanks the creep waves real well with the uh, counter helix. And I think Ben needs to start leveling up Dragon Blood a little bit more. Stop worrying about these two quite as much and level up the Dragon Blood so he can tank these creep waves a little bit more. Yeah, and this Skywrath Mage needs to be going up to this top lane here. He would be able to just wreck face. Well, I don't know. Even with the... Uh, the Omni Knight does have the Repel, so he'd be able to block a lot of the magic damage. So, we do have the Radiant getting chased out here again. We'll see if they're able to get a kill off this. I, don't, I think they'll be able to get a, the Omni Knight kill here, but Bounty Hunter's taking a lot of tower damage. Took about half his health worth of uh, tower damage, so at least they got a kill on the board, which is which is good. But that tower did go down, and nobody got the last hit on it though, so that's a little bit of gold denied, I think. Yeah, so it's um, it's a pretty bad situation already. They're already about 4k gold in the hole. And a lot of that's just from the from the tower going down. Um, but yeah, Skywrath Mage, rotate up to the top lane, help these guys out. And they're still sticking to this crazy plan. I do want to see what this... What this axe axe is. Genuine Mountain Splitter. I'd certainly say that thing's huge. I have a scythe for axe that I like quite a bit. I think that's good. Oh, Axe is gonna go, gonna go ahead and blink in, uses the, uh, his taunt, what is that called, Berserker's Call, and oh, Ben, what are you doing sticking around here? He gets stunned from Sven, and it looks like he is gonna go down, and Ben feeding a nice kill there on the Dragon Knight, but that, uh, Blink Dagger Berserker's Call initiation is pretty good, so these guys just need to keep running away, though he should have a blink ready to go soon. 
He would have been able to probably get another, at least one more kill out of that. Alright, back to Ben. Here we go. I don't even know if we're going to get to see him go into dragon form at this rate. Game's going to be over so soon. And I did stop at a new coffee shop this morning called Open Door. Open Door Coffee Company. And I have to say, I am really disappointed with it. And this Omni Knight might go down. Ben gets that nice Dragon Tail stun on him. And Ben does get the last hit there, so good good work there, Ben. Mystic Flare going down. Uh, gonna take out the Axe. Finally, that Axe goes down. And Bristleback gets the kill on the Sven. So that's a good situation. Um, needed to have that happen maybe a little bit earlier. Uh, but we'll see if they're able to uh, keep keep this Radiant side down. The thing that worries me is that they're not doing well, and it's only against you know these these three heroes. There he is, these three. While Lycan has just been getting free farm in the offlane, he's already got his lads offering up, ready to go, and power treads. So that's gonna be that's gonna start to be a pretty scary situation. Because what level is Lycan? Lycan is level. He's level nine, you guys. He's level nine. <laughs> oh man. <clears throat> and they have a level 9 OD. This is... This is not looking good. And he just got a kill on the Wraith King. A double kill on the... In the middle? Was it in the mid lane? No, in this off lane. Yeah, it's... it's How do you deal with that crazy, like... It's not even a tri lane. It's like... It's like three, I mean it technically is a tri-lane, it's like three-man hyper-aggression, and this has happened to me before, and I don't know how to deal with it correctly. I don't know what the, I don't know what the correct response is. Because I know, like if you have, you know, like a tri-lane versus a dual lane, the dual lane's going to wind up getting more XP out of it, and this bristleback's going to go down. If he gets spotted. And it might be Ben who gets spotted. <laughs> but yeah, as I was saying, I uh, I know that a dual lane is going to get more XP than a tri lane will, but I don't know what the correct response is because they can just, you know, if they're getting kills on you. I guess that's the trick, is as the dual lane, you want to make sure you're not giving up kills. Because if they're getting kills on you, you're, you're doomed. Ben teleports back to base. Close to the hand of Midas. If he just sits in the fountain for another two minutes, he'll get it. Dyer's bottom tower has fallen. So they're down to uh, they're down they're down all their tier one towers at twelve minutes in the game. Not a good situation. We have a Lycan who's getting free farm. This tier two tower will go down shortly. Uh, we have an out of position bounty hunter. So we do have a five-man engagement for the Dyer, and a nice stun from Sven catching out three of them with the Sanity's Eclipse from the Outward Devourer doing a ton of damage. And the slam dunk on Ben, leaving a lot of Ben blood on the ground here. Poor Ben. And yeah, this is just all but over. So Axe is currently down. That's going to be a two for three currently. And actually they're able to turn this around a little bit. This is what is happening. I'm not sure what happened there, folks. They got that nice stun. The, uh, what's that called from Sven? The Gauntlet, I think? Stormhammer? Why do I always say Gauntlet? I don't know. Uh, but yeah. So they got the... I guess, I guess they saved... They turned the engagement around. They won by one, one kill, so... Not sure what's going on there. And Ben has completed his Hand of Midas. So he is going to start to see some some nice XP and and gold coming in. And OD is face palming as Wind Ranger. Let's see. The Wind Ranger face palm. There we go. So 
I guess their big hope here is... Yeah, I don't know. It's it's tough, because as long as the Dire just keeps... Or if the Radiant just keeps the pressure up, they're just going to keep winning their... You know, pressing their advantage they already have. And that's the second slam dunk in a row, spilling Ben blood on the ground yet again. Look at all this Ben blood. Ugh. And this, this axe has really just been going crazy. Not sure if I agree with the Tranquil Boots pickup. Not a big fan of Tranquil Boots unless you're a support who is aiming aiming to uh, not necessarily right-click a ton. And really it's the Skywrath Mage keeping them in the game right now, but... Another three-man Stormhammer from Sven as the uh, Skywrath Ultimate does take the axe down. And we do see the Omni, Omni Knight Ultimate being used as uh, Wraith King does reincarnate, and that was a decent amount of damage from Skywrath Mage as the Sven goes down yet again. And I think the Dire are going to be able to push them back a little bit here. The Concussive Shot and Arcane Bolt are being used on Omni Knight with the uh, Mystic Seal. I think that's what it's called, right? Mystic Seal? Lycan decides to chase out the, the Bounty Hunter here, gets a kill off that. We do have the track on the, on the Omni Knight. And uh, Ben is coming in off the uh, back back end of this engagement here, trying to farm up some of the neutrals here with a Lycan and Omni Knight who are almost going down. And we do see the Skywrath Mage go down. The Skywrath Mage is what's been keeping them in the game. As Ben goes down yet again, I think that's is that six deaths for for Ben now. Five. Bristleback going to make it out alive. So I'm I'm actually pretty impressed with the Skywrath Mage. He's he's the only one who's been keeping him in the game as I teleport to the uh, dead Skywrath Mage. And I well I guess the Wraith King has been getting some good stuns out there. Ben's Ben's had a couple good stuns here and there. And I gotta feel bad for Ben because this isn't necessarily the uh, most ideal Dragon Knight game. It's not bad in the fact that he is ranged half the time, so. He should be popping dragon form right now, to be honest. There we go. Yeah, it only has a minute or a uh, 115 seconds cooldown, so Stormhammer gonna catch out too. Uh, Axe does uh, blink in, use the Berserker's Call to his detriment yet again. He does go down again. There he goes. So we do see a uh, one for three exchange here. Lycan summoning the wolves. Hanging out in the base here. He is going to go ahead and teleport back. So yeah, that's another uh, another poor situation for the for the dire. But we are starting to see this uh, hyper aggression kind of start to teeter off a little bit. Okay, maybe not. Maybe I was wrong. I was definitely wrong. Well, their pushes at least haven't been quite as. Um, they haven't been they haven't been winning these team fights quite as uh, decidedly as they once were. So, and I think that's because the Radiant are not really catching up at all. This like is way ahead. So I don't know. I, it seems like maybe it's just bad positioning or bad team fighting from the Radiant, or you know maybe they're getting a little cocky or something. But it seems like the Dire are not losing as poorly as they once were. So yeah, I don't know. Uh, ben, if you're watching this in the future, feel free to buy um, boots first, brown boots, and then whatever upgrade you want for the for your boots, and then start your item of the week. And that was a yet again a nice three man uh, storm storm hammer. And uh, yeah, not able to do too much damage here. The OD really did a ton of ton of work with that sanity's eclipse. Well, in the uh, top lane, we do have the Lycan split pushing, and yeah, this game's this game's pretty much over. If you're the Dire, the the question to ask right now is not how do we defend this. The question is how do we not get ourselves in this situation for next time? Bristleback going team? Question mark. Oh, Bristleback. Team noob. See, these guys are jerks. 
That's a hard strategy, like that early, early triple aggression, if you don't know how to handle that well, it's easy to lose against it. You know, it's like losing to a Zerg Rush in uh, StarCraft 2. And this is about the point in the game where if I was Ben, I'd be going full tilt right now. Once the... Once somebody on my team gets salty, they bring me right down with them. I'm fine and cordial until, uh, until people start throwing mud, and then I drop down to their level. I have no problem with that. So Ben, ben has uh, three levels in the Breathe Fire, which Breathe Fire actually does do... Um, a decent amount of damage, really. It does 300 right now, so that's good AoE damage. I almost think, since they don't have much tankiness on their team, I guess they do have Bristleback, who's wisely going for the Bristleback and the Warpath and all that. Um, I think they just need more survivability right now. I'd really like to see somebody pick up a Drum of Endurance, since they're so far behind. But... Yeah, it just doesn't really matter right now. I'm gonna see this bristleback get more uh, bent out of shape. Okay, so we do we do have a bounty hunter going for the drum of endurance. Lycan has a 20 minute 20 minute desolator. So let's see what else does he have. Oh my gosh, this. <laughs> He's like it. He's level 16 already at 20 minutes. Level 16 with 9 kills and 1 death. 99 CS. Ben has 22. Good job, Ben. So he's sitting on a Skull Basher, a Desolator, and a Vlad's. Good lord. Ugh. This is a pretty bad game. <laughs> I'm waiting for a match from Ben that'll be good. Which, in, in Dragon Knight and Hand of Midas, that's not too terrible. You know, it could be worse. It could be Crystal Maiden and Eye of Scotty or something like that. So, it could be worse, so... It just came down to bad luck for Ben. You know, bad, uh... One bad team cop on his side. And two, playing against a, uh... Really annoying axe strategy. So, hopefully they'll go for... Go for Rax, go for the tier 4, and then uh, take the game. And we do have the GG's being called, so hopefully, hopefully this Radiant side doesn't uh, screw around too much and they just decide to go for, for the buildings, which it looks like they are. Can you guys hear my stomach growling? GJ Omni. Yeah, Omni Knight did pretty good this round. That Guardian Angel really, uh... Is really helpful. It's really annoying to play against, too. Ben has been using that, uh, that Hand of Midas, so... He does have Hand of Midas in his... He was in the fourth position on his team, now he's in the third net worth position. Which is just just a shame. He's not gonna be beating Skyrath, of course, because Skyrath Mage has six kills. But Ben oh Ben is one eight and seven right now. Ugh. Woof. Woof. Oh, this poor dire team. I don't know what it is, but I it seems like all the fire effects in Dota 2 are really cool looking. Especially like with Lena, where some of the flames get like kind of like bluish purpley at some points. You kinda of see that a little bit with the with the Dragon Knight as well. Good job to those artists. Dragon Tail gonna stun the Omni Knight. He does use the Astro Imprisonment on himself. It does pop the Sanity's Eclipse. Is that Sanity's Eclipse that he popped? No. I think it was it was Axe, who came in and did some stuff. 
Tower's top barracks has fallen. I think I would have less of an issue with Skywrath Mage if you could direct the concussive shot. The fact that it you can't target somebody, I don't quite like. But maybe he'd be a little overpowered then. Okay, folks, let's stop fountain diving and let's go for the tier fours here. Quote unquote, padding your stats isn't going to do anything for you. Not sure why you do that besides the uh, EP on Dota buff. Skyrath Mage picking up that Rod of Atos. Not a bad pickup for Skyrath Mage. He does have the, uh, is that called Mystic Seal? Is that right? I know I asked that earlier. Mystic Seal, Ancient Seal. It's Mystic Flare and Ancient Seal. So the Skyrath Mage did take down the Omni Knight, so they are pushing him back a little bit, but good lord, you guys. They haven't even, no, they've gotten one tower. So they did get the, uh, the one tower right here, so good for them. And a nice uh, Stormhammer catching out the Bounty Hunter and the Skywrath Mage. He takes down the Skywrath Mage. The Bounty Hunter is invisible. And looks like he is just going to go ahead and back up. Ben has been doing a good job of keeping the Hand of Midas on cooldown. So I do like that. And it looks like he is going to be working towards maybe an Assault Curus. Not entirely sure there what his intention is. And we probably won't really find out. And oh no, Ben's gonna get caught out again. But that's kind of been the name of the game here is the Radiant have just been catching people out left and right. So Wraith King gonna go in here, activates the armlet. And does activate the Berserker's Call, and I think we're gonna see a dead Wraith King. He does have his ultimate, but it's just not going to matter. Does get the ancient uh, or the mystic flare off on the uh, Outworld Devourer. Uh, it's slam dunk on the uh, on the Birdman there. Uh, what's his face? What's his beak? Skyrath Mage. Birdman. I sound like Lysander now. Did you guys ever watch Harvey Birdman, Attorney at Law? It's a good show. Did you get that thing that I sent you? Axe does have 3,000 gold. He needs to be buying some stuff. Ben does have the level 2 dragon. It is the red dragon, not the orange dragon. Which I always thought it was an orange dragon because his body is like orange or yellow. More so yellow here. And then his wings are red. I don't know. But he does have like sweet dragon armor in Elder Dragon form here. I do like it. Jared said he sold his for $6 out of Mortal. That's pretty nice. He bought a lot of other stuff with it from what I remember. These tier 4 towers are almost about to go down. Stormhammer catching up Ben. The uh, Battle Hunger being used on the Wraith King. He does try and get out of there. Or no, not Battle Hunger. No, he was just going in on Sven. I thought that was Axe. Jeez. That's going to be another kill on Ben and I think, I think that's going to be Ancient soon. They are going in on these towers. Sir smells a lot. Smells defeat coming up. And Axe looks like he is going to go ahead and try and blink in and get some well kills. Found kills, whatever we're calling it in this game. So that's going to be the match. Ancient's down to about half health. And that was maybe one of the more one-sided matches I've seen in a while. So, yeah, if, if any of you know how to uh, respond correctly to that crazy three-man three -man lane-splitting strategy that we saw, uh, yeah, either go ahead and comment in the video or make a post on our subreddit or something like that. So, yeah, I hope you all had a good time.